Ambassador, thank you very much. Uh, to start with, I'd just like to know what's your impression from uh, after taking a quick look at GM and what is your impression? Uh, how contenting. Uh, obrigado, ba, uh, Senor Sarano, e, e, ita, uh, director, uh, ba convida, how? Um, to agora, how visita uh, una compañía uh, media Barak e ha Dili? How Hanon Katak uh, media? independente, no, no livre, importante, importante los. Então, uh, um, how a cara que uh, visita, uh, a colaboração com uh, a companhia Cera, e how uh, oferece entrevista, um, how uh, Hakarak uh, Dehan uh, Moss, how, how Dehan Parabens, Tamba, how uh, Rona Katak uh, uh, GMN, um, eh, how congratula GMN, ba anniversario. Um, Della, della hat? Sì, parabéns. É muito importante, é how contente, ba, ba, it about me. What are the uh, assistant programs the embassy is uh, now has with uh, the media sector in Timor? So we're very active in this sector. We provide a number of scholarships, uh, English language training, exchange programs. Um, we, we sponsor conferences where the journalists can come together. We have one coming up where we will bring uh, an outside consultant to focus on investigative journalism, investigative reporting. So um, we're very proud of our, of our work to partner with the media companies in Timor-Leste. And how content is it that you have a lot of Italian colleagues in uh, Venice? Um, eh, uh, Aceta or receiver, uh, uh, Marie Colvin scholarship, ba estuda inglês uh, ho uh, leli, um, ba tinan uh, ida, see? Importante, uh, how hanon katak uh, i Companhia Sera Media e a Timor-Leste precisa uh, apresentar notícia, se, se possível, e a uh, língua tetum, pa, mos inglês, também inglês, eh, 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 sai importante e a futuro, sim. What about the cooperation between the embassy and the, the government of Timor? What are you working on? Sim, um, os Estados Unidos uh, no Timor-Leste, governo Timor-Leste, uh, colabora, Hamutuk, um, Ba prioridades Hanesan uh, Saudi, Hanesan uh, Economia, Hanesan uh, Educação. I'm very happy that we recently signed a five year agreement, a country development cooperation strategy with the government. 
which will be a total of in five years of approximately 92 million US dollars in assistance. I also want to mention uh, we are the, a major contributor for the COVAX. The COVAX program is providing um, vaccines to more than 90 countries. And we, the U.S., I was proud to be at the airport to represent uh, the donors for the first uh, shipment of vaccines um, in, in April. And also uh, again uh, this week, I believe. So uh, how orgulho uh, representa uh, Estados Unidos, Banjira uh, Ami, uh, Bailey Hatoa Apoyo Durante Pandemia. What can you say about Timor Leste, its people, the culture, the social economy of, of Timor Leste, and also maybe with its government? See, si. um, first of all, I think people can see on the embassy Facebook page, I, I love being here. I love exploring, I love meeting people. Um, when I travel, especially outside of the Dili municipality, uh, I learn so much. Um, let me repeat what I told the president, Luolu, when I met him. How orgulho representa povo no governo uh, americano. E a nação ho história forte. É, I think there is a lot of potential and there is a lot of opportunities to collaborate together with Timor Leste. The US is very committed to Timor Leste's development. One thing we are always interested in is the programs, some of the programs that the uh, the U.S. Embassy uh, is running. One of them is the Peace Corps, for instance. Yes. How are these programs today? Are they continuing due because of the, uh, the pandemic? Sure. Uh, are they still um, happening in, in Timor? Uh, the Peace Corps program is still active. However, the volunteers who were here evacuated last year and they will have to uh, return. They will return as soon as the pandemic improves. This is one of my biggest priorities. I want uh, the Peace Corps volunteers back. You know, I visited Baokao last week and I visited several places that host the Peace Corps. And um, the the, next to the Posada, there's a training center run by the Canossian Sisters. And outside of Baokao, there's an agricultural training school. Both have benefited from Peace Corps volunteers, and both asked me, when will they return? And the government supports it, I support it, um, so we're working hard to make that happen. Some countries such as China and Australia have been um providing assistance to Timor by uh, providing the, um, the vaccines, um, AstraZeneca and Sinovac. Is there any plan or thoughts by the embassy, the American embassy, to help uh, Timor as well? For instance, with Pfizer or um, Johnson's and Johnson's, uh, the, the, vac the American-produced sí. vaccines. Sí. Uh, Primero Ministro, uh, Husu. Uh, how um, se Estados Unidos bele ajuda ho vacina uh, agora existe programa ba hato vacina um, mas be uh, programa um, as regras um, la la claro agora um, how I espera que attack uh, in the next few weeks, maybe we will know more. 
But I told the Prime Minister that I will do everything possible to make sure that Timor-Leste can benefit from a vaccine donation from the United States. One of your most prominent recent meetings was your encounter with Mangbot Shanana. Um, the photos and stories about that particular meeting has gone viral on the, media, uh, on the social media. Um, that makes us curious. What, what happened and um, what can you say about the particular meeting? Uh, first of all, I want to say it was an honor to meet Mount Bochanana. Um, in America, Mount Boat is like uh, George Washington for us. He has a history to support an independent Timor Leste that is hard to imagine. So, but I give the credit to His Excellency uh, Dr. Ramos Horta because I visit him this day and we have breakfast and then he says, oh, let me show you around the city. We visit one of the Canossian uh, sister shelters and offer some supplies. And, uh, and I say, um, can I drive your Jeep? And uh, Dr. Ramos Horto said, I was never a passenger in this Jeep. But uh, I ask, he says, yes. He said, okay, now you are driving we go all the way to Tasitolo and we meet uh, Shanana, man boat. I said, okay. And then we go and, and, and I get to meet uh, uh, the former president, prime minister, every, you know, he's done everything. And then we talked about his project in the uh, in uh, to to remove the water from Tasitolo. And he wants to show me something in the water. The level has changed. Then he said, Ambassador, you can wait here. But this hero, he is, has no shoes on. He is older than me. And he is going in the water. So I've said to others, is there anyone in Timor-Leste who will not follow Mount, Mount Bochanana into the water? So I did. And we have a good conversation. He tells me about his, his, the way he's working the, the project. We talk a little bit about his other efforts to help the, the people here. So it was a nice first opportunity to meet him. And for me, it's a memory I will not uh, forget. If there's anything you could say uh, to the people of Timor um, about the pandemic, um, about our current situation, um, would, what would you say to, to the people of Timor Leste? So, first, I will say the pandemic is real. You can look at the numbers of deaths in the United States and those who have suffered. The U.S. has been devastated by it. I know people who have died from COVID 19. Most Americans know somebody who has been affected. Timor-Leste, I think through the, the good work of the government, has managed to keep the pandemic away. But now is a very important moment. It's like a race between the virus and the vaccine. You're, you are getting a lot of vaccines. And I know that in the next month or two, you will have hopefully the first shot for one third of your adults. This is so important. I encourage all of your viewers, please take the vaccine. It gives you protection against the most serious forms of the disease. Even the first shot helps. Um, and the, the COVID-19 is so serious because it can affect anyone. Some people never feel it. Other people become very sick and die. So I encourage everyone to take advantage of the government's work to get the vaccine as soon as possible. By the way, I want to talk about the U.S. assistance. 
So um, up to now, the U.S. has committed more than $4 million for Timor-Leste in support of its fight against COVID-19 uh, with, with protective equipment, with hand-washing stations. With, uh, we have plans for isolation units in several cities. We have plans for a major uh, mobile intensive care unit which will go to the National Hospital. So the U.S. is committed to partner with Timor-Leste to fight this disease. Thank you very much. Thank you.